Baroness Worthington. Lords, I beg leave to ask the question sending my name on the order paper. Um, Sellafield is recognised as the most important nuclear site in the United Kingdom, employing over 10,000 people. That priority has seen record levels of investment from the latest government spending round, which will lead to the acceleration of decommissioning work at the site. The closure of the MOX plant is, of course, very regrettable, but Sellafield Limited is actively working with the 600 people who are going to be losing their jobs at this time, and everybody in the area is doing their very best to see if these people can find jobs very quickly. <laughs> I'm grateful to the noble Baroness for her answer and, uh, and welcome that, uh, that new jobs are being sought. However, my question really alludes to the, the longer term future for the site. Um, Sellafield is a unique site in the UK and I believe it could become the home of world leading research into the use of next generation nuclear reactors. Mm. Such reactors, as well as being more efficient in their fuel use, generating no long lasting waste, can be designed to burn up existing stockpiles of plutonium held at the Sellafield site. So, in light of this, is there more that the government can do to support R&D into new nuclear designs that will help to ensure we develop the safest and most efficient new reactors? Yeah. 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 Um, well, can I first please welcome the noble Baroness Worthington, uh, her new interest in nuclear, and uh, hope that she'll feed in her views to the government um, allow us to help her where we can, and she'll share her vision, I hope, of uh, the new approach, which I think she was hoping is going to be based on thorium. Um, as far as the question that she has actually asked, if we can turn a liability into an asset, then this government will explore every possibility. The government consulted earlier this year as its preferred <coughs> policy option for dealing with the plutonium stockpile, and will confirm its position later this year. My Lords. Doesn't the noble lady, the minister, regard it as a crying shame that this country, which after all started pretty well with the invention of nuclear power for peaceful uses, has is now currently annually investing only less than £25 million a year in research into nuclear fission, yeah. way behind all our major competitors, which makes us really the poorhouse for developing further along my noble friend, as my noble friend has just mentioned? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Lord Winston is right. We have not been investing as we should. We've only been in government for a year. We're trying our best to get ahead as fast as we can. I know that he is with Imperial College doing wonderful work, and it is to people like him that we look to show us the way ahead. Following on the question from the noble Baroness, rather than uh, jumping the gun like Usain Bolt, uh, may, I, um, may I ask, the, uh, <laughs> may I ask the, uh, the, my noble friend uh, w whether there are residual liabilities under the processing contracts at uh, the MOX uh, plant at Sellafield? Uh, now, are there residual liabilities in relation to cleaning up that plant? And if so, who is going to bear them? Um, there are residual liabilities, and of course we are going to have to work out exactly what we're going to do. Can we turn the existing plutonium stocks from the MOX plants into liability into an asset? Well, this is an area which we must look at and see what we can do with this. Um, the government's consulted earlier this year on its preferred policy option to dealing with all these stockpiles, and will confirm its position later this year. I thank my noble friend for his question. My Lord. Dealing with the future of nuclear sites, will the government draw attention of the public to the fact that most fears about radiation are enormously exaggerated? I fully agree with my noble friend's statement. My laws. There would be great benefit to the area and the UK if the existing plutonium stock stored at Sellafield could be converted into an asset. With the right kind of advanced reactor, the plutonium could be completely consumed whilst making new fuel from thorium. This new fuel could be used in increasing carbon-free electrical generation capacity, generating 20% more than the UK is currently using. Can the Minister confirm this would be a huge benefit to jobs in Cumbria? It would be a huge benefit to everybody if we can get this off the ground, absolutely. And can I say to Lord Granchester that I really am very grateful, as is my colleague Lord Marland, um, for his interest in this subject, his personal interest. I understand he's going to Sellafield soon, and we would very much like to hear his views on his return. 
My lords, my lords, my lords, would, my, would the noble lady um, do all that she can and the government all that they can to encourage the creation of new jobs in the areas, as my noble friend has uh, suggested in her question, but also to ensure that the number of apprentices that already exist in Sutherfield is the way forward in, in creating those new jobs, but also building a future for that area. Um, yes, I do agree with you, particularly about apprenticeships, which I know is something very close to the, the, the lady's heart. Um, we know um, today that UKTI is, is looking at the area, seeing what they can do to help. Uh, the Cumbria Local Enterprise Partnership is working extremely well, and the docks at uh, Warrington um, are, have been opened now for the new containers, and there are a lot of apprenticeships, I understand, being um, sought in that area. So, yes, I do agree with that. Lord Naseby. My Lord, I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper.